during this excellent discussion we had uh, with uh, Yuri Arthur. I will have the honor and the pleasure to have a conversation with Mr. Georgios Fiopoulos, uh, who is a consultant uh, and CEO of Enterprise Greece. Hello, Georgios. Good afternoon. Good afternoon to you and your team. I believe you've heard the discussion we had uh, with uh, Ms. Yuri, Yuri Arthur, and now we can expand this uh, discussion. Mr. Fiopoulos, could you please make an introduction about the strategic plan of the country and say a few words about Enterprise Greece, which are the objectives, and then I will ask you some questions. First of all, I would like to thank the American Hellenic Chamber of Commerce for this uh, invitation to take part in today's event. It is a great pleasure to be with you today as CEO of Enterprise Greece and representative of the organization which is under the supervision of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs and is the competent organization, as was previously mentioned by Mr. Spirunias, for attracting investments in Greece and for promoting Greek exports. The previous decade was uh, extremely complicated and difficult for our country. The global financial crisis in the beginning, the deep uh, recession uh, in Greece, uh, the unprecedented financial crisis, and the unprecedented uh, pandemic that we still experiencing created enormous challenges for our country, which, however, managed to adapt uh, very quickly to the new reality that has been shaped. The Greek economy is quite resilient and at the same time I believe uh, that we have set the foundations uh, for the next day. Our country proceeded to important reforms which played a significant role in attracting uh, foreign investments. What I've heard previously by Ms. Arthur were very encouraging. Ms. Arthur gave us uh, the image they have uh, in America, which is that we are a very f investment friendly country. Apart from that, we have managed to break uh, the record of exports and of uh, provision of services. In that context, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs has uh, proceeded to a reform that uh, changes uh, the face of the uh, diplomacy of the country. Following the example of the developed countries, uh, the Ministry of Foreign Affairs uh, implemented the reform by establishing a new structure that incorporates all the organizations that are responsible for the economic diplomacy and extroversion of the country. Under the supervision of the Ministry of Foreign Affairs, uh, we have Enterprise Greece, but also the Export in Credit Insurance Organization, whereas the commercial attaches in the foreign embassies uh, have now the support of the specialist department, uh, thus ensuring the possibility of exercising a multi-layered external economic policy. In that way, the state offers now a wide range of services to the Greek companies, both for the export of uh, products and services, but also for funding and for securing projects abroad. In the beginning of September, we, the first strategic, national strategic plan for extroversion was presented, a plan which for 2021 includes uh, 458 uh, actions in 38 foreign markets from the Western Balkans and Europe to Middle East, uh, Northern Africa, Asia, Africa, and Australia. Now, the contribution of our organization, Enterprise Greece, is of utmost importance since as you said, Mr. Spirtunias is the competent organization for attracting foreign investments in Greece and for promoting exports abroad. Our organization organizes 
both online and uh, physical uh, trade shows, uh, digital events uh, that provide information on issues uh, pertaining to export. It uh, forges uh, partnerships uh, with the major per platforms. Uh, I would say, broadly speaking, all these reflect the importance of enterprise Greece in the context of the wider national strategy for extroversion. We all know, as uh, and we as chamber are aware of uh, the work that you are providing, and we also see a direction that is very important. It is the right direction that processes are being developed. I would like to ask you some questions. The coronavirus crisis has affected the global market and especially the sector of trade shows, which is the sector which is inextricably linked with the exports. How does Enterprise Greece respond to the, this crisis? And what did you learn? What has been the experience that you have got through this crisis? As you said, Elias, the pandemic influenced the global economy and international trade and created many and important challenges uh, for Greek exporters. The exporting companies uh, had to respond to the new reality where traditional promotional activities like taking part in international trade shows or uh, business delegations uh, were cancelled or postponed indefinitely. In that period, all these uh, were replaced by the digital fora, the digital platforms, the B2B meetings uh, through these uh, online platforms. The digital networking spaces and spaces for the exchange of ideas, sales through social media, and so on and so forth. In other words, these were solutions offered to us by technology. Our organization, Enterprise Greece, set as a priority to showcase the importance of uh, adapting uh, new innovative solutions, and that is why we proceeded to a substantial digital transformation of the actions and the tools we are using. Among the initiatives that we took were the design and creation of electronic lists of exportable goods, especially in the first months of the pandemic, and taking into account all the constraints imposed to the markets abroad. We launched uh, some uh, digital uh, events. Uh, we organized the training seminars on how to use uh, digital means and also information campaigns uh, on the social media. Moreover, something else that was very important was the fact that we changed our organizational structure when it comes to exports, since we adapted the more uh, client-based approach. And we also proceeded to many internal reforms. Thus, uh, we incorporated the sum of the exporting base, uh, covering with specialized services uh, all objectives by existent and potential exporters uh, and big companies. We changed the organogram and our services. We record now the needs of the small, medium exporting uh, enterprises, and we can offer the best support to these companies. And at the same time, we connect experts to investments because our country constitutes a small market. And the companies or the investors who want to invest in Greece usually check the possibilities for exporting. In other words, how Greece can become a place from where they can export their services and products to other markets in the region. 
and thus ensure great profitability. So, the organization of online trade shows uh, was something that was innovative, something that we implemented, and something that was actually implemented in a very limited period of time. You have made all these upgrades, you have made all these changes. I would like to ask, do you have any selection criteria of the companies that will take part in Enterprise Greece? Which are these criteria? And moreover, which are the criteria on the basis of which we, uh, you evaluate the actions that you implemented, but also the actions that you will implement? In other words, do you use any KPIs for the organization of these actions? With regard to the selection criteria of the companies that take part in our actions, I would like to tell you that what we are doing, as I said, is offering services to all categories of companies. The only criterion that may eliminate a company from taking part in one of our actions is being financially in order, at least with regard to us, Enterprise Greece. Apart from that, we are trying to take on an advisory role. For example, if a company approaches us and says, I want to take part in this action, for example, and we see that this company will not benefit from its participation in a specific action, or to put it differently, or to give you an example. We have a company without background in experts saying that it wants to take part in a major trade show next month. What we will tell to this company is that it will have to make proper preparations. We are going to work with this company in order for it to launch its uh, activities abroad at the right moment. Now, with regard to the way we evaluate our actions, we do that uh, through a series of criteria that have to do with the percentage of participation, with the satisfaction of the participants, with the increase of experts in specific markets, target markets that we have set and in which we implement actions. And at this point, I would like to say that we are now in the process of a developing a new series of KPIs in the organization that will, of course, be used by all departments and in all actions. These KPIs will comply with the National Strategic Plan for Extroversion of the country. Oh, this is very encouraging, and I believe that uh, you are in the right direction. You talked about markets in your future plans. Which are the most important markets? Of course, as uh, Hellenic American Chamber, we represent uh, the United States. But which are the three bigger markets on which you are going to place uh, particular attention without, of course, this meaning that uh, all other markets are not equally valuable and uh, important? And uh, secondly, which are the sectors, which are the production sectors in Greece uh, that present uh, more opportunities for extroversion, more possibilities for extroversion? I would say that with regard to the countries and uh, markets, the important uh, countries of the European Union continue to be a preferred export uh, destination for the Greek products, even though they are highly competitive as markets. And I'm talking about Germany, France, Italy. But the fact that we are in a single market uh, with no tariffs and with free movement of goods uh, is very important. At the same time, Northern Africa, no, excuse me, Northern America is undoubtedly a very important market, which is a very demanding market. 
demanding and competitive compared to the European markets. And apart from that, we will pay extra attention to Asia, where the middle class will be approximately 3.3 billion by 2030. And there, apart from China and India, which are two markets which are huge, there are countries like Indonesia, Vietnam, Thailand, that are developing at a very rapid pace. Then come the countries of Sub-Saharan Africa. And I would also like to mention to the Middle East countries like Saudi Arabia, the United Arab Emirates, and Egypt, with which our government has developed strong relations. And these strong relations actually create a fruitful ground that will promote uh, Greek exports. OK, and I would like to ask a question related to investments. Previously, with, in the discussion we had with Mr. Ms. Arthur, we talked about Select USA, which is a very important initiative taken by the American government in order to attract investments in America. You are aware of Select USA. We have been wondering, how can we possibly set up a similar program in Greece? And what do we need to do? Right now, we are at the stage of designing a similar action. Of course, the sizes are radically different. Our country, in terms of size, could be considered a medium-sized state compared to the America. However, in the United States, Select USA operates as a field of competition between states. They want to attract investments. The one state wants to attract better investment compared to the other. So we're talking about competition. In Greece, since the sizes are very smaller, we will opt for a cooperation. And this cooperation will include, of course, central government as well as regional authorities. And this cooperation will have as an objective the promotion of the best investment plans, both public and private. It will try to attract a big investment team, important investment team, that will serve the objectives we have set in terms of experts. OK, and I would like to close with a question. And that is, how can uh, chambers help you in your effort to promote extroversion? How can we help you in your effort to attract investments and make uh, Greek companies more extrovert? I believe that we can play a very important role, both to your benefit, but also to the National Strategic Plan for Extroversion. I fully agree with you. Enterprise Greece aims at establishing and promoting constructive cooperation both with the chambers and with the institution, with the stakeholders, as we call them, that uh, are related to the development of the economy, growth of the economy, and promotion of extroversion. In that context, uh, we closely cooperate uh, with the ministries, the embassies of Greece abroad with uh, all the important uh, commercial and industrial uh, representatives uh, with the chambers in Greece. The bilateral chambers represent support and promote through a variety of uh, actions, entrepreneurial activity, and uh, contribute to the developmental prospect of the country. They also get some uh, important interlocutors in important countries, like in your case, the United States, that constitute 
a very important market, target market for us, both in terms of exports but also in terms of investment. So I believe that the role that, uh, that bilateral chambers can play is very important and we, as you know, based on the experience uh, we have had, uh, are want to enhance this cooperation and make it even more effective. And yes, we also aspire to that. And I have to confess publicly that our cooperation with Enterprise Greece is excellent. We have a perfect cooperation in a series of actions. And I believe, and I sp I'm speaking on behalf of the Chamber, but also as a business uh, organization, that we can contribute further. And this is our role. We are a small country, and we need to join forces in order to attract the big investors and do what is needed in order to help the growth of Greek economy. Dear Yorgos, thank you very much for being with us. I would like to thank Enterprise Greece for uh, its cooperation, for its presence in today's event. And with that, dear friends,